Bonjour mes amis! Today we're talking about passé composé um, with verbs that end in IR and RE. Remember that we've got three groups of verbs, uh, three groups of regular verbs in French. We've got verbs that end in ER, we've got verbs that end in IR, and verbs that end in RE. And so if you need a refresher of the present tense, that's right here. Uh, we've also looked at um, passé composé a little bit already. When we form something in the passé, passé composé in the past tense, we need two things. We need a helping verb, which um, can be either avoir or être, and we need a participé passé. Um, again, what we've been working with as our helping verb is avoir, and that continues today. We're going to be using avoir as our helping verb. We've already seen um, forming the passé composé with ER verbs, like manger, right? And how do we do that? We take our infinitive, manger, we're going to drop the ER off the end, and we're going to add an E with an accent aigu. So let's look at quelques exemples. We could say, j'ai mangé le sandwich. We could say, tu as acheté l'ordinateur. Or we could say, elles ont dansé hier soir. We've got our helping verb in blue, which is a form of avoir. Our helping verb is agreeing with our subject. And then our participé passé is staying the same. We've taken the ER off the N and replaced it with an E accent aigu. And that's just a review. We've already seen this. We've got our second group of verbs, verbs that end in IR, and they look like finir, which means to finish. So what are we going to do to find our participé passé? Ah! Um, this is really easy. We're going to take our IR off the end, um, and then we're going to add an I. Okay, so we go from finir, which is our infinitive, to fin, and we make it fini. Let's look at quelques exemples. We've got our helping verb again in blue, okay? And that's a form of avoir, and it's agreeing with our subject. Then we've got our participé passé in ver, um, and that's invariable. It doesn't change. So, first example. Nous avons fini nos devoirs avant le dîner. We finished our homework before dinner. We could say, mon frère a fini le livre ce matin. My brother finished the book this morning. Or we could ask, vous avez fini? Have you finished? Again, taking the IR off and making it just an I. Here's a couple more verbs that look like finir. We've got choisir becomes choisi, to choose. We've got réussir becomes réussi, to succeed, um, or to pass a test we know. Uh, grossir becomes grossi, to get fat. Maigrir becomes maigri, uh, to get thinner. And grandir becomes grandi, to get bigger, to grow up. We've got a last group. We've got a last group of verbs that are regular. We've got um, verbs that end in RE, like perdre, which means to lose. How are we going to find the ending for those? Well, we'll take our infinitive, we'll drop the RE off the end, and we're going to add a U. Okay, so we go from perdre to perdre to perdu. Here's some examples of that. J'ai perdu mon sac. I lost my bag. Again, notice that avoir is our helping verb, agreeing with je, and perdu is our invariable, not changing, participé passé. Uh, we've got elle a perdu mon chemisier samedi soir. She lost my shirt on Saturday night. A, agreeing with elle, perdu, staying the same. And Raoul a perdu, lost his passport. Oh la la, he is not going anywhere. A, agreeing with Raoul, perdu, staying the same. Here are a couple more verbs that look like perdre. We've got tendre becomes tendu um, to cut the grass, or tendre la plus to cut the grass. Attendre becomes attendu to wait. Répondre becomes répondu uh, to respond. And vendre becomes vendu, right, to sell. Notice that in all of these we've got our helping verb, it's avoir. We've taken the RE off the end and replaced it with a U to find our participé passé. All right, so let's review really quick. We already looked at the ER verbs, so we're looking at our other two groups of verbs, IR verbs and RE verbs. With verbs that end in IR, like finir, we're going to drop our IR from the end, and we're going to add an I. Okay, and here's some examples. Vous avez choisi? Have you chosen? Les étudiants ont réussi l'examen. The students passed the test. Et ta sœur a fini la pizza? Did your sister finish the pizza? And then our last group of verbs, verbs that end in RE like perdre, we're going to take that RE off the end, chop it off, and add a U. Okay, so we could say Mademoiselle Hills a répondu à l'email. Mademoiselle Hills responded to the email. Il a attendu les résultats. He waited for the results. Or we could say Elles ont vendu les biscuits Girl Scout. They sold Girl Scout cookies. Okay. 
Merci. Thanks for listening. I hope this helped. I hope this is starting to make some kind of sense. I'll see you in class. Merci beaucoup.